Here's what we're getting prepped now. Um, we got the Y band O2. And we're going to be putting that in the secondary bung behind the cat. So, getting that prepped to put these manifolds back together. So on the other side, we already got uh, the pipe up and I just need to uh, tighten the bolts up here where the flange is split and then bolt it onto the head with the header bolts. And here's the other side here, gasket and then this side on here coming back from the cat. So I put the Y band in the, um, on the secondary because I believe that um, in HP tuners, you could turn off the secondaries and just run the primaries for a closed loop. Um, so then I'll shut the secondaries off and then um, I got the OBD2 uh, ported wideband so it can go in. I could data log my wideband trends. So that's why I'm putting that one in here. I know theoretically and by the book uh, for engine management that they say you're supposed to take your um, wideband before the cat, so that way you don't have any kind of reading, any kind of error of the cat burning off any excess fuel and you get a true AFR reading, but just for the way the computer set up and everything, I think it's easier that way. And then when I get my headers, um, we'll, we'll shift all that over. I don't think I'm gonna be running cats or anything, so this will probably be in the bung in the X pipe, so we'll get a mixed signal of the gases coming from either side of both banks of the engine but I think this is the best route to go for right now is just run it and then one side on the secondary so we're gonna try that out and hopefully it works pretty well Alright guys, so we got the headers in, see down there all bolted, torqued, 20 foot pounds as per torque spec sheet, exhaust manifold bolts, sorry 15 foot pounds, it's 
20 newton meters, 15 foot pounds. And so those are all good. Uh, next, we are going to put the new plugs in. I got the TR6s, which are one step colder. And I'll put a little uh, clean motor oil on the threads, put those in, torque them down, and then we will move on to the coil packs and then the covers. All right, next we gotta gap the spark plugs. Uh, the book is 40,000. Got my feeler gauge set, the plug. I'm just gonna check them quick. They show the gap from the factory out of the box, but um, you never know. There could be slightly different configurations, people running different gaps. So we're just gonna check them all. The first plug is uh, already good. Fits in there snugly. And then after that, we're going to try to torque it down uh, 15 foot pounds, and I'll put a little bit of lube ball on the threads. Alright, so we're going to end the video off here. Uh, basically, we got the headers, the stock headers back in the car. Spark books in, coil packs on, the little dress covers on the LS7. Uh, power steering fluid added, uh, change the oil filter, check the tranny fluid level. And basically, all that stuff is good. So, all we have left is um, we got to add oil to the car. We got to add coolant. And... I think basically that's it. Um, I'm gonna recheck the, the tightness and the torque fit on the headers where they connect to the mid pipe. I just wanna make sure that's seated right. And other than that, um, oh, and we gotta set up the Y band. So we're gonna be working on getting that wired into the car. I got the sensor already in and fed up through. So we just gotta plug in the harness, run it into the cabin, get it over to the OBD, OBD2 port and then uh, set the gauge up on the little gauge pot I got. So we'll be working on that tomorrow. So stay tuned for the next video. And then we gotta basically work on getting the map, uh, the tune for the car ready, and so we can fire it up. And that will be the next step here. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.